maybe this is what is needed. Maybe perhaps this is what is needed. A shift away from the nonsense that is mumble rap into music that is a bit more inclusive, wholesome, but is now taking the evolutionary process to, to the next level because it is very key and important for popular music to evolve. You see, um, I, I wanted to really, really let this um, album sit with me. You know, because I said, so, so so, you know what? So I listened to it twice. I listened to it twice all the way through, top to bottom. Then I then started just to pick out different songs and so forth. Um, because I wanted just to form a real opinion. So let me just give you the tra trajectory first. You know, I want to just talk about the album. Then let's talk about it a bit, a bit more. So when I, I just want to just get up to the track list here. So when I first listened to the album, there we go. When I first listened to the album, I was like, okay, that sounds cool. Because because I think a lot of people have been saying, oh, Bonham Boy, Bonham Boy. Have you listened to Bonham Boy? I was like, okay, I haven't. But so when I first listened to the album, okay, cool, nice sound. But I think I, I prefer Wizkid, you know. Um, like I think Davido, eh, not really, but like Wizkid, I said, like, no, 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 no. That, like, that was a very good album. Like his latest, his last album. I said, no, 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 no. I think I prefer the vibe of Wizkid. But I said, you know what? Let me listen to it again because it's the same thing that happened with me with... Um, Royce's last album. Because when I first listened to Royce, the Five Nines first album, I was like, okay, it's cool. I listened to it again and I was like, oh, okay. And that doesn't, that normally doesn't really happen with me. Most times for, for music, if it does get, if it does get me the first time, it doesn't get me the second or the, or the third time. So you know what? Let me listen to this whole thing again. And I listened to it the second time. And I was like, oh, okay, this is, this, okay, this actually seems a little better now than this morning. I just went through the track list and I was just reminding myself. And of course, you know, wonderful. That is like, that's obviously the the big single that just like, so no, that's cool. But um, way too big is good. Naughty by nature. Very good to actually break back the, the naughty by, by nature boy, boys back into it. No, no fee vex was, was good. Time flies good as well. Um, yeah, and even ban ban connects as well. So the album, I'm just gonna talk about the album, I'm just about the album, but I think the album, this is a it's a good it's it's do you know the thing about this album? It's one of those weird things where I think the more and more you listen to it, the more and more it will grow on you. You know, and I, or maybe this is just me. Maybe it was just me. But I think about it is that maybe when I listen to it again and again, and especially when I listen to it with my amazing, you know, Bose QC2 headphones, I'm like, okay, okay, all right, I'm getting it. Okay, okay. And I think maybe that, that's, I think, a, a, a key thing that I want to listen to it like at night before I go to bed with my headphones on, noise cancelling. But I just think as I, it's because the, you know, the key thing about this is, is it's 15 tracks. You know what? It's it's a very good album. This is why it's a very good album. Because remember when I looked at the track, I was like, "Whoa, fifteen track. That's a lot. Like fifteen is a lot. Like you would say 10, 11 is like the average in twelve. Once you now get into fifteen, sixteen, that's really a body of work. That's like a real deep album. Because when you when you now get into 18, 19, 20, you might as well make it a double album. So 15 is pretty much almost the maximum you can have for a single album. There are no skips. There are no skips. It's not, basically, it's similar because I think um, Beats, Rhymes, and Life is 15 tracks as well. And that whole thing, for me, I said that, that that's one of the best albums of all time. Beats, Rhymes, and Life. Outstanding album, I think. Now, I'm not saying this is Beats, Rhymes, and Life, but the fact that it's 15 tracks, so not a single one you skip, and the key thing that it flows very well. It's not like if I say, oh, okay, no, that track should have gone down. And that's what's that's why sequencing is so important. So it's not about putting tracks in there, it's about 
this should follow this should follow this and then this is this is the crescendo this is how it goes down so it has to flow well so you have to be very aware about the tracks you pick the tracks you discard and where you place the tracks because placement is key in making a good album a, a key to an album is sequencing and there are many albums which have been good but you're like ah now that track didn't work there so that it is very good because to do 15 tracks there's a nice running theme to it it's it's it, it's, it's a nice vibe that runs from the first to the bottom one and there are no skips it flows really well so for bottom boy that's this is this is a damn good project damn good project and you see with similar to what i did with gold link and similar to what i'm going to do with them the internet now let's look at your back catalog you know so now i'm not going to listen to african giants and his, his other work but the key thing i wanted to say is this that obviously I was, i've just been reading interviews with bottom boy and so forth and everything and i'm just about what he's been saying is that he wants this to bridge the gap you know between you know um uh africa i want to the music in africa and african americans as well and even for me as a nigerian you know i was like i'm so so happy and proud that nigerians are now sort of now pushing popular music you know, and now at the center of, of, of popular music, between, as in between Whiskey and now Bonner Boy, I think these guys may be at the precipice and spearheading how popular music is maybe sort of shifting. So, um, so that's what makes me proud as a Nigerian. And look, Nigerians have always been, you know, guys that have been very industrious, entrepreneurial, and, tra and always thinking far ahead. But the, th but the thing about it is that, you know, I, I use the whole thing of, of mumble rap. It's like, it is very important the what the face of the music is. It's very Im important. If the face of your music is um, Lil Pump and so forth, that ain't good. Because the fact of the matter is, it's like, you know, Jay-Z's old. You know, he's older. Like, he's Nas, he's older and so forth, you know, the face of your music has to be someone who is youngish, 20s, 30s, so forth, you know, who have who has the energy to be very creative and so forth. Once in your 40s and your and your 50s, it doesn't mean that you can't create, create amazing music, but the music you're making is more mature, seasoned music. As in 40 or 50, 50 year old, Nas and Jay-Z can't tell us what is cool now. Nas and Jay-Z can't be the evolutionary sense of music you you can't they have to be giving us seasoned knowledgeable more introspective music based on their age that is that that is what their duty is now the, the duty of the late teenager the 20 something year old the 30 something year old is what is cool now what is the next new wave the new wave can't be mumble rap mumble rap is garbage nobody can try to explain to me that oh no no it's just a thing no no, no. mumble rap is particularly garbage music it sucks it's horrible um so yeah man oh also your moments you you made was cool featuring chris martin yeah that was cool that was cool interesting featuring chris martin but yeah so because I, I think because obviously what, what, what i think the because the the importance of this album which is why you know you saw pdd involved is i've always been a proponent of bridging the gap between african americans and africans you know and African Americans have to realize that your link to Africa is profoundly important. And Africans are more than welcoming to African Americans. And I think, but the reason why I think this album is also important is even for me, going back to Nigeria, everyone puts on a fake American accent, everyone talks American, everyone has all this whole American thing and so forth. I say, well, you know, what about your own culture? <laughs> you know? And sort of, and I think the beauty of Whiskey and now Bonner Boy is now Nigerians come back like, oh wow, our culture is now being popularized. But also, more so than anything, African Americans can now look at something like, like this and no longer can they, no longer is this like the nigga, this nigga that has, you know, bitches, hoes, all that kind of stuff. Is oh, this is a, di a whole different vibe. This is a whole different vibe that doesn't come from a, um, slave mentality place because i've already talked about the word nigger nigger and, and 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 so forth and the problematic use of that word okay nigger nigger gge -G gga it's, it's, it's the same thing um but i just think that we, with this it can be something of oh wow okay and because you fusing this now with 
hip hop, rap, and so forth, it pushes the music forward. You know, and I think what is very key to music moving forward is fusion. The beauty of music is music is the most subjective artistic form of anything that we have in the world. Okay. And the core of music is about being experimental and about mixing things and about mixing different scores, different styles, different influences, different ways of playing a key, different ways of playing the, the drums, different kinds of alternative drum loops and so forth. And I just think that this is now a sound that many people in America would not really have been exposed to. Because of course, you know, Bonham Boy Whisky could have been there, but by now this now, by this is now a massive spotlight on this now. And I specifically, because I just even watching a bit of his interview on, on the Breakfast Club, specifically with what is happening right now in America and how right now a lot of African Americans now are now really trying to look even deeper into themselves, dealing with the kinds of disease and, and mental illness that they have through slavery and and and, and so forth. And the album is a, is sort of a gate. This album is it, which is what's important boys it's bigger than just oh this is my next album. You know there's oh wait a minute this is is timely and maybe this this is album's aesthetic its vibe the imagery is talking about and I think the overall message I'm trying to say in this is wow, this is maybe a culture that African Americans can sort of connect to. Because as I said again, America was built on crime, murder, and deceit, <laughs> you know. And America has always told black people that you're not wanted here. You know, we're only this isn't your country. Sorry. It's, and remember that when we, we didn't discover this country to benefit you. <laughs> And you will keep on fighting and fighting to try and live as we live. As as I said on on our stay black um, thing is was what I think Ray was saying that no he wants to, he wants the black man to to have exactly what, what the white man has. And I said that that's that's never going to happen. And I've always pushed the fact that African Americans have to somehow some way connect with Africa. It doesn't mean that you have to go and live there. It doesn't mean that you have to move. But it is very key just for your psyche and your mem and your men mentality and your psychosis to have that link. Because once you have that link, trust me, it will change your whole outlook and change your outlook as to how to, you operate in America and can help you succeed in your own way in, a, in America, you know. Um, so, but I just think that this shift in music is needed. This shift in music is needed because um, because because look, I mean, where, I mean, where are we at right, right now? What's is because okay, Drake. Look, Homeboy just released a, a new single, which is good, by the way. I was like, Drake, I do this on another level. Like, Drake just released a, a damn good single. I was like, oh, boom. So, Drake has always been at, at the center, but Drake's run has been. I'm not saying that Drake should go away and everything like that, but I just feel it is always important for something new, always important for something new to come forth. And I think that is needed in everything. Talk about sports and so forth. I've always talked about how Christian and Messi, yeah, look, it's boring. Let's now let this now be the era of um Umbape, Jao Felix, and 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 so forth. You know, Jordan had his time, Steph Curry may have had his time. Maybe now this is the era now of um Janis Ati Tokumpo and so forth. So um it is always key to have something new. And I am very interested to see whether Afrobeats or a fusion of Afrobeats and hip hop. And a greater collaboration between Afrobeats and hip hop will now form the sound of the future, and I think that will just be something, and that will be something interesting. And maybe we can now go back to where rap was just about something and about a message. It wasn't this mumble, "Hey, look at how cool Chain Armor and everything." Else. It's was well, actually back to what a message. You're saying something. It's back to KRS One. It's back to a tribe called Quest, <laughs> you know. It's um, it's it's back to most deaf, <laughs> you know. It's back to coming where guys were. No, I have something to say. I'm not here to show for see how cool I am. I'm here to say something, you know. So, but yeah, man. Um, but no, my good, very good album, very good album. Need to listen to it again. Let me listen to it with my headphones and and so forth, um, because I still am not fully decided. On how I feel about the album. It's just one of the things I like. Let me just because I know it's good. 
I just need to know how good is it. So maybe give me one one more listen, one more listen with my headphones, and then I can then fully get that vibe in there. But but yeah, but uh, props are very important and it's needed. Become a Half Hope Sort member and gain access to exclusive videos and also the chance to watch films, anime, or different videos with your boy HH exclusively. Just click below on the join button to join in and become a Half Hope Sort member to gain access to these perks. Just click on the community icon over here to view the new members only posts just for you.